An ecosystem driver is any natural or human induced factor that directly or indirectly causes a change in an ecosystem. Direct drivers are those that have an unequivocal impact on the processes that take place in an ecosystem. In many cases, the impact of direct drivers is specifically measurable. Some examples of direct drivers are habitat change, climate change, invasive species, over-exploitation, and pollution. Indirect drivers operate more diffusely by impacting one or more direct drivers. In essence, they determine how strong a direct driver acts. Drivers can also be classified as natural or anthropogenic, meaning caused by humans. Ecosystem drivers often interact with each other, meaning that one driver can increase or decrease or change how another driver impacts the ecosystem. In many cases, the same ecosystem driver will play out in different ways in different regions around the world. And the effects and impacts of drivers can change over time. Again, examples of direct drivers are habitat change, climate change, invasive species, over-exploitation, and pollution. Let's take a look at a few examples of direct drivers having an impact on an ecosystem. One of the largest impacts of habitat change has been the conversion of land to crop use. This type of habitat change has taken place across the entire world and only places that are unsuitable for crops such as deserts, boreal forests, and tundras have remained primarily unimpacted by this type of habitat change. In the case of exploitation, nearly every naturally occurring fish crop across the entire world is being fully exploited, and there are little to no opportunities for increased catches. Historically, these impacts have been primarily in coastal areas, but are now shifting to open oceans. Changes to freshwater use and flow, such as through the building of dams, has increased susceptibility to invasive species and increased pollution across many regions of the world. Human populations, economics, socio-political factors, religious and cultural factors, and science and technology are all examples of indirect drivers that can lead to or influence ecosystem change. Remember that indirect drivers operate more diffusely by influencing the impact of direct drivers. Let's take a look at a few examples of indirect drivers at work. As per capita income grows, the demand for ecosystem resources also increases. As countries and individuals become more affluent, they typically spend a smaller share of their economic resources on food and spend a larger share on industrial services and products. These behaviors can lead to changes in habitat use and in the exploitation of ecosystem resources. Varied cultural and religious factors influence people's perceptions of the world. And these perceptions can impact various decisions, such as consumption behaviors. These in turn can impact the direct drivers that lead to ecosystem change. Finally, technological advances have had a historical impact on land use by increasing production yields per area of land. This has made it so that we can produce more crops per area of land. This thereby reduces the amount of habitat change that's necessary. On the other hand, technology can degrade ecosystem services and resources. When looking at drivers of ecosystem change, it's important to note the complexity of many of these issues and the interrelationships between many of the drivers and indirect drivers.